Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design a reinforced concrete column using the concrete column detailing module that's available in RAM Elements. Now, the concrete column detailing module can work as a standalone application, meaning that it would not be necessary to create a RAM Elements model before accessing it, or it can be used in conjunction with an analyzed RAM Elements model. For this video today, we're going to be using an analyzed RAM elements model to design and detail one of our concrete columns. So to start this workflow, we're going to perform our analysis. In the ribbon toolbar, you can select your process tab and then click on the analyze model icon to kick off your analysis. Once the analysis is completed, you are also ready to perform your design. In the Process tab of the Ribbon Toolbar, click on the Design All icon and select your concrete design code and click Design. Now this is going to prepare the model for a preliminary design, but the design and detailing of those concrete columns is going to happen in the Concrete Column Detailing Module. We are now ready to access that module. So we're going to hold down our shift key and select one of our concrete columns in the model. You can then proceed to the modules tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the concrete columns icon. Now the RAM elements reinforced concrete column detailing module is capable of designing and detailing concrete columns under compression, tension, bending, or a combination of both for a combination of both round and rectangular columns according to the ACI 318 code. It can also detail column interaction diagrams and consider the seismic risk type. The reinforced concrete column module cannot design members under torsion. Now when this module is accessed from an analyzed RAM elements model, the following loads, along with all of the concrete design and service load combinations, are automatically transferred to RAM elements. These include the axial loads, bending loads, and self-weight vector that was defined in your RAM elements model. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our interface. We can see our imported column has been imported successfully. And over in the data area, we can see that the majority of the information has already been specified from your RAM elements model including your model geometry, your loading, and your concrete design code. Now, if we were to take a look at the data area, we can also enter some design data information. We can see different factors that we can customize, and we can also customize the reinforcement that we want used as candidates for the optimized reinforcement for this particular column. We can do this for both the longitudinal bars and the transverse bar information. Now, before we kick off the optimization, we're also going to go to the Home tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Advanced icon, which will give us a couple of additional parameters that we can specify, including the concrete type and also the concrete reinforcement information. You're going to notice that we can also use coded or not coded epoxy bars. After we ensure that all of the design data for our columns is as we would choose it to be, we are ready to perform our optimization. So let's go ahead and click on the Optimize icon. Now after the optimization is performed, we're going to notice that the status bar at the bottom of the screen is going to be updated to indicate the status of your design. Our status bar is showing a green traffic light, which basically means that this column passed all design code checks and did not produce any errors or warnings through the design process. So a solution was found. 
If your status bar indicates a yellow light, it means that the code checks have passed, but perhaps some design warnings were issued. And then if your status light is red, it would mean that your design was not successful. Now, before we review our information, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what would happen if you did have an error in your design. Well, if you had an error in your design, you can change any of the parameters in the design data or your advanced options within the RAM elements detailing module. If during this process, however, you decide that the section properties of your column or the concrete properties, meaning your concrete compressive strength, were insufficient and you wanted to make changes to those types of parameters, your best workflow for doing that is to go back to your RAM elements main application, make those changes there, reanalyze and design, and then come back into the detailing module to see if you're able to find an acceptable solution. This is because those types of parameters or also any type of loading changes will affect your main application analysis results and you want to make sure that what you're designing for is accurate as far as your analysis and design working together. Now that we have performed a successful design, let's go ahead and take a look at the detailing information that was provided to us. Here we're going to be able to see through the data area the reinforcement that was determined through the design process. Again, you can go back to the Home tab in the Ribbon Toolbar if you would like to make any global changes to the size bars that you're willing to accept. Or if you'd also like to customize your bar information, you can do it directly through the data area. And you can also use a variety of tools to customize your reinforcement. This might be especially useful if you are investigating an existing column and you already know what reinforcement is located in it. In addition to that, on the existing column front. We also do have a check icon available here. This would be used if you manually specified the reinforcement that you want to use. You would click check to say, check if this reinforcement is adequate and let me know if I have any failures while manually specifying a reinforcement. This is excellent if you want to customize your reinforcement or again, are looking at an existing building structure. Now that we're also in the home tab of the ribbon toolbar, let's take a look at the report that can be generated from the concrete column detailing module. Here we can see that we do have a full report. This can be printed for your records. It can also be exported as a Microsoft Word or Excel documents. If we scroll down, we'll be able to see the general status is indicating OK, which means we have a successful design. And we'd be able to see all the design checks and calculations that were performed for this particular column. And this is for each level of the column as well. Here we can see their ratios for each loading condition that was checked. These are my design load combinations that were imported from the RAM elements main application model. Let's go ahead and close out of the report. And finally, what we're gonna take a look at is our interaction diagrams for this imported and designed column. Here we're gonna see the interaction diagram is appearing on our screen. We can see the detailing of reinforcement and we can customize this data if there's anything else in particular you are looking for. Now finally, before we go back to our RAM Elements main application, we also have an icon here to export our rebar to RAM Elements. What this tool does is it exports the rebar data from the detailing module to the RAM Elements main application. And eventually, if you do wish to create an ISM model from your RAM Elements model, if we were to export the rebar, we would have those items or those objects available in our ISM repository. So if you're interested in getting all this rebar designed and detailed through an ISM workflow, we do have that capabilities if you export your rebar to RAM elements. Now at this point, we're able to save this RAM concrete column design module basically in our project folder we can save it in. We can name it anything we want and then we could proceed on with the design of the rest of the concrete columns. At this point, I'm ready to return to my RAM Elements main application. So I'm gonna just click File, followed by Exit. And I'm gonna to return to my RAM Elements main application. My model is still analyzed and designed and I can proceed on 
to the rest of the concrete columns as I need to. And again, if I were to export the rebar for each of these columns, that data would be available in an ISM repository. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.